Hello and welcome back to US History with me, Mr. Snyder, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a Facebook page for our historical uh, figure that I give you. And let's go ahead and get started. We're at our Moodle page, so go ahead and scroll down to the bottom and find the Facebook profile instructions here. You'll find a link to the video, you'll find uh, signups so you can see who you have, and you'll find all the relevant grading information as well. But go back to the front page, and you'll see there's a Word template here. I'd like you to go ahead and download that. Uh, save it wherever you like. And when it finishes downloading, open it. And my word may look a little bit different from the word at school. I have 2013 at home. Uh, but here you can see we have just a picture of a Facebook page. And so we are essentially going to be inserting things over this and using it to create a Facebook profile. So if you like, go ahead and zoom in with the controls down here in the lower right hand corner. You can zoom in as far as you'd like, but it does give you a higher degree of control over the area we're going to be working with right here. And so first thing, number one, we let me zoom out a little bit. We need to insert a picture of the historical figure. So we're going to go back to the Internet and use Google for this and search for your historical figure. and image search so click on images and you'll find images of your historical figure pick whichever one you like and you're gonna right click and you're gonna save that to uh, something on your computer someplace on your computer and let's go back to our word document now you need to make sure that these little dots are not on the picture. So where I would click is over here to the right. See the cursor icon now? I would click to the right and click off of it. Now we're going to insert up here on the ribbon a picture. And so our images find wherever you downloaded it to. Download insert and it inserts it down below but as you'll see I can't drag it anywhere yet because I need to change the text wrapping so up here if you double click on the picture you'll see on the ribbon the format picture tools tab pops up you want to change the position of it or yours might be the text wrapping in line with text to in front of text is where we want to put it and then it disappears but it comes right up here and now you can drag it wherever you want on your page drag it to your box and you can resize as necessary may have to distort it a little bit to get it to fit and there we go there is Bugs Bunny that's your picture now the rest of them two through whatever 11 is going to be inserting text boxes over this uh, profile. So you may want to go to insert and then over here under text, text box and just do a simple text box and it puts it right there. So now we're going to maneuver it so that it is over the number two box right there. You may have to uh, the boxes may overlap a little bit, but you can change the size of your text as well. Okay. Bugs Bunny. Now, if you click on your text box, you'll see this drawing tools thing pops up. And you can actually change your shape outline to whatever you want. You can make it red, you can make it blue color it in I don't care 
I just want you to get the information correct. Or if you want, you can go here to shape outline and no outline. And there you can see there is no outline on the box anymore. You can extend it out here a little bit. And once you get a text box that you like, feel free to click on it, uh, right click, copy it, and then right click and paste it. And it'll give you that same text box that you can just drag someplace else. So don't insert a whole bunch. Just copy and paste it and then change the information. And that is how you are going to create your profile. Um, also, let me show you number seven real quick. We're not going to insert a text box on the globe. We're going to zoom in a long ways to the map. And I'm going to insert a shape. It can be any shape you want. It can be a star. It can be a little explosion. And Bugs Bunny is American. So there. And then you can uh, choose the weight of your outline, color, and there you go. That gives you a little spot on the globe where Bugs Bunny is from. And the rest of it you can read in the directions or you can ask me in class, but that is how we are going to be in uh, doing our profile. If you have any other questions, let me know. Otherwise, this video should have helped you uh, create your profile. Have a good day. Bye-bye.